In this episode, we venture outside Nova Scotia to New Brunswick to visit the 150-year-old Markhamville Manganese Mine. Now, right up front, I just want to make clear that in the final credits of this episode, there will not be GPS coordinates provided for this mine location. Now, there's a very good reason for that. Visiting this mine is not just a hike through the woods to GPS coordinates and you're back on someone's private woodlot or crown land. This mine is practically in someone's backyard and is very private property. There's no way to gain access to this mine location without being totally visible of several residents, including the landowners themselves. The explorer you're about to see was only made possible due to very close negotiations with local residents and most importantly, the landowners themselves. So we'd like to stress, allow this video to be your adventure into the Markhamville mine. There is no need for any other. So in conclusion, special thanks to the landowning family that allowed us all of this and you can thank them as well in comments. They will be seeing this episode. Let's get started. Okay, here we are at uh, Markhamville and we, uh, we are at what we believe is the openings to the, uh, the classic Markhamville manganese mine. We have two adits here right next to each other. There's one there and then there's one over here. And we're going to go in both today and we'll take you through what we find. So we'll head in and start, uh, start the one here on the right. We're going to head in here. Again, this is the adit on the right. We'll start with that one. The first thing you notice when you come in the portal is uh, there is a, a stope off to the left and then it starts heading down like so. And that's where the guys have headed. So here's the stope immediately inside the portal that's uh, up to the left. There is a passageway heading down there to the, uh, in the floor. Again, heading off to the left. And then uh, another tunnel heads off here to the right. All right, the tunnel that heads down into the floor, just to take a peekaboo down in here, is like so. I'm gonna rep reposition myself at the bottom here and we'll take a walk. Okay, here we are at the bottom and uh, the tunnel goes off into the distance there. There's a little bit of water. Not much, but we'll, uh, we'll tiptoe by here on the right. We've passed the water, there's looking back, there's the water. And if we swing around, ahead of us here is uh, some stoping begins again. The fellows have gone down uh, the other tunnel, so I'm just here by myself uh, checking this one out for you. But it uh, goes up here to the left. And uh, heads off up there to the right as well. So let's take a peek up the left here and see what we find. So here's up the left, basically a, a dead end for this part. But uh, there's looking back to the, uh, the main tunnel that we just followed. And here we are back at the intersection again. And there is uh, that spot off to the right. All right, we're up in here. Big stope and uh, some uh, some timbering there on the floor. Let's go up to it here and have a look. Almost like a, an old scaffolding of sorts. We turn around. There's over into the other side. All right, heading up the hill here to the top of the stope. It does come around a corner and into another stope. But it does look like an end here. Yeah, it uh, goes up here, but it does look like it squeezes up up there. Yeah, there is a a something something up there. He'll go take a peek, see if he sees anything worthwhile crawling for. No, sir. No. A nope. little bit of water flow here. First water flow we've seen in the uh, Markhamville mine so far. And it just drips down here. All right, let's head back to the uh, the main intersection in from the portal and head down the other way. Let's go. So 
there's the tunnel down through the, uh, that headed down to the left through the floor from the entrance. Just to give you a feel, we're back here at the entrance. There's the, uh, the stope up to the left. There's the portal to the outdoors. And just behind me here, we have our trusty soldiers coming back, taking photography down the tunnel where we're headed next. This is the tunnel to the right. Now we're gonna head down through there. And it's a bit of a pinch, quite a lot of backfill that has uh, fallen down through here. So it's a little narrow, but we can get down through there. And uh, I'll see you at the bottom. Okay, there's where we just came from. Like I say, down this, I uh, had to scrabble down this uh, rock fill. And uh, this is where we come. Again, into kind of a stopey room. The tunnel heads off there to the left. Pretty mazy in here, kind of going off in all directions. Now there is a rock pile there that is plugging a drift to the right. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If you come up here, See that crack? That goes off into the distance down there to a distant room that looks huge. So that's a no-go there, but if we spin around, we do come to this dead end. And they came around the corner here and cut this very square chunk out of here. But that's your end right there, unfortunately. So that's it for this side, uh, the adit that was to the right on the from the outdoors. So let's go back, uh, let's go back outdoors. Okay, we're gonna head outside. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. Yep. Yeah. Be careful. And there's the other side there where we're heading in next, the adit that was on the left at the beginning. Let's go. So this one on the left immediately goes to the left and down. So just sitting inside the portal and looking down, you can see that it uh, goes almost around 180 degrees, heads down that way. So down here at the bottom, it comes to a kind of a narrow pinch. There's a lot of fill in here, but it goes uphill there to the right. and. Uh, it was down in there somewhere to the left. And like I say, folks, up here to the uh, the right, it goes up there to a, a ceiling. We'll have to crawl up this scree and see what's up there. Oh, and just for a moment before we head up this uh, scree, I just want to show you the hole he backed out of there so you can see what we're dealing with. That is like a man-sized uh, pinch there. All right, I'm making my way up. There's only a couple feet of clearance between the uh, the scree and the ceiling here, so it's quite a belly crawl. Out of focus there in front of me, there's some uh, white-looking fungusy, almost like sprouts coming out of the mud. Uh, but we'll continue heading up here. Okay, he's got way better traction than I have. He's going to go up and see what's up there. Okay, so I'm at the top. Yeah. And this is it. Oh, it does end there. This is right here, there's a bit of fungus to the ground. And then it looks like it kind of stopes up. Uh, it looks like it's collapsed, there's boulders up there. Okay. I uh, can barely crawl any further, so I'll head back down the slope here. It's a little steep. Wish I had better traction, folks. I just want to stop here for a second and uh, break the fourth wall and to interject some uh, commentary here regarding where we're at right now. Um, you may not be catching it uh, from the vibes on camera, but at this point I was quite disappointed because everything I had researched for the Markhamville mine indicated to me that this was a very, very extensive classic mine, uh, very large, cavernous, stopy and we just weren't seeing it. And if you notice, we're basically at our wits end. There's really no other leads except that little tiny hole that we passed, uh, maybe two feet wide into blackness. And uh, I was about ready to say goodbye and head out, uh, out the portal and that was gonna be it. 
in my head, I was thinking, well, we still have to check that little hole, but could a massive mine, you know, 20, 30, 40 times the size of what we already have seen be truly on the other side of that little hole? <laughs> All right, here we are at that man-sized hole. Just to give you a point of view, I'm gonna drop my feet into there and head down through like an earthworm. I'm gonna hand the camera off here to the guys behind me and they can shoot me doing this. Here's the other side of the hole. This is what it looks like to come through. Real tight uh, body crawl through there, but a nice uh, gentle slope on the other side to slide your butt down. And the reason this is exciting is because this continues down into depths and chambers that uh, we never thought might have been in here. Had a hunch, but this little crawl space might be the, uh, the key to the rest of what's the bulk of this Markhamville mine, so... Oh, fuck! <laughs> this wasn't in the job description! Great job, great job. Alright. We got some map making going on here. But just to give you an idea of scale, there's heading down into the, uh, the further abysses where we're headed next. Let's go. I got a four way. One, two, yeah, there's a lot of backfill here, but there's a, there's a left. There's a left. There's a straight. There's a straight. And there's a down. And he's heading in there down the middle. Like I say, to the uh, the left was just a dead end there as you see it. Oh, it is a dead end? He's going to check out the middle. The, to the left it is but he's heading down the middle. Okay, so he says in the middle here, it opens up to a stope, which means we have to go in. So, see on the other side of this crawl. All right, here we are at the bottom of that uh, middle tunnel. And the map making continues. We spin around here. We're in kind of a stope that continues onwards. There's a lot of backfill humped in here though. I'm not sure if that... See that goes to the shaft right there. Alright, I'm uh, I'm heading through the crawl here. It's probably two, three feet of clearance. Just to give you a look ahead. Up ahead there is where it uh, supposedly opens up into a large stope that just kind of drops off. So we'll continue making our way to that ledge. So here I am up at the end. Just to turn around, this is where it opens up to. And there's like a 60 degree slope here that heads downhill. Let me get up here to the ledge a little better. It heads down there into the distance and just keeps going down, down, down through that little black hole in the center of the screen. And up, just goes up into that big end right up in there. So here's up at the top of that slope. Um, I kind of crawled my way up here, up the incline. So there's the ceiling and the top and it just seals right off there. A lot of backfill in here, This all this dirt and stuff creates this scree that goes right down. That's probably a good 60 plus degree angle. There's the tunnel there to the right where we uh, come in from. Okay, we're back on the ledge here, halfway down this uh, this slope. Okay, let's try a rock fall down this slope, see if I can shove some here with my boots. All right, we're back out of that middle tunnel. Just to recap, if you remember back here at the intersection, there's to the left, middle, and now we're going to head down this slope to the right. It just goes downhill, downhill, downhill. Again, all this uh, rock fall that's uh, come down through here. There's a pillar there in the middle. 
and it opens opens up big down here. The fellas that have been ahead of us have been sending back really good reports, so. Okay, we just came down from there. There's the pillar, and like I said, it. Uh, this is what we heard about the Markhamville mine, is that it was very stopy. So discovering this is very satisfying, finally, because uh, it uh, it's quite cavernous in here now. So here's, uh, I'm at the bottom of the this big stope area. There's that pillar again. He's climbing back up to where we came from. You can see this uh, goes really deep here towards the floor. More pillars. Let's follow them. I'm here standing on a ledge now. And uh, like I say, the stope continues down in here even deeper. And then it heads off over there where they're headed. So coming up here where we just left them, there is an old wheelbarrow frame here of sorts. I guess that's the old ring for the, the wheel that's long rotted away, but there's the frame anyway. So up from the wheelbarrow, there is a little uh, indent there to the right. And then over here where they are, there is a, a pool of water. Well, isn't that beautiful? Crystal clear. Thought it might have been a winds at first glance, but uh, there is a bottom to it. It's almost like a, a sump, really. There is a, a, a dead mouse down at the bottom there. See his little tail hidden behind that rock. The tunnel uh, heads up a slope here of uh, debris. What is your assessment, sir? A lot of shit in here. A lot of shit. <laughs> okay, we're back out here in the middle of the, uh, well, at the bottom of the uh, the big stoping that comes down with the pillars. If you dip down here far enough, let's go down. There is a, a revelation of that it continues. And there he is in there already. So we're gonna crawl up through here. Okay, here's through the crawl. And this is a really interesting stope, goes down even deeper. Put the light to the maximum. It's really hard to light this room because it's so huge, but there is a, uh, like a wooden bridge that goes across here in midair. It's probably 15 feet in the air over that floor down there. Comes along here. All right, just standing back here again to give another vantage point, especially scale as compared to human beings. Really huge stopes down through here, which is exactly, like I said earlier, what we heard about the Markhamville mine. Here I am at the bottom, or <laughs> what is the bottom relative to where we were at. Now he's found a tunnel down here that we'll uh, start into next. And what were you gonna say about this? Not much other than that there are all these ore cart tracks here. Oh, ore cart tracks. This looks as though it is probably a loading dock where they pulled the ore down, put it on the carts, took it to the end of this tunnel to a shop and pulled it up to the top. Cool. Okay, here's down where he was. And like he said, there's that ledge where the uh, the rails come up, so we're gonna continue down the tunnel and follow these, uh, wow, beautiful ore cart tracks. Very well preserved. Oh, beautiful, beautiful ore cart tracks. They're barely even rusty. 
and they're quite high up in the air as well. All right, just coming up here to the end of the rails, he's found something here. This is where the rails go. Oh, they go into water, yeah. And that appears to be a timber shaft. We did go over there and check, and that looks to be the remains of a shaft right there. That went up to the surface. That's correct. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to wade down there in the water, but uh, that makes perfect sense. So there's looking back to the turn. These beautiful ore cart tracks. And uh, spinning around here. There is a head to the, the water, through the water into the shaft. And there happens to be a right hand passage. Hello. Hello. Let's head down through here. Yeah. Oh, so it ends up in here. Nothing too special. All right, we're back up from the, uh, the ore cart tracks and the little uh, trestle pickup area there. And now, from being down at the bottom of all this stoping, we've come down through the pillars and there's the, the bridge up above. We head this way. Very echoey in here. Lots of water. Well, that's interesting. It would be a duck and crawl. I don't think it's going to. Oh, no. It sounds like water world anyway, like it goes on forever. I've never heard anything so bassy and ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, so so much for this uh, tunnel there. Wind we'll back out. All right, so back out here in what we're still calling the main stope or the bottom of it. Uh, I guess we go over here next. Another tunnel down there with ore cart tracks in it, I see. Yeah, right there. Okay, folks, I just want to show everyone I'm, I'm coming down this uh, rock pile to go down there to that uh, tunnel that we see that has the ore cart tracks in it, which is basically our last direction, we think. But then, of course, as you go and look up, things will start revealing themselves. There's another uh, opening there. So there you go, you know, you look up there and then there's a rock pile and then another uh, big room in dark darkness and a ceiling I can see. You won't be able to see it on the camera, but. So what do you think? We take the ore cart track tunnel first down here? Sure. Okay, we'll head down there then. Okay, I'm down here with the, uh, with the ore cart tracks. And here's at the bottom, some nice gobbing here to my right. Uh, some pillars, timbers holding the uh, this very flat ceiling. <laughs> Turn around, here's where the ore cart tracks go. Gobbing off to the side. Let's follow these tracks, folks. Well, they seem to come in here to some kind of a kind of a landing station, and there's hints of gaps between the boards. We don't know if this is hovering over something, so we're just going to stay safe and stay off it. But there's another big pillar and more 
stoping. So these really big rooms are hard to light, um, even with the throw of this very large light. Um, it still looks dim at a distance, so these distant shots I apologize for. Anyway, there's again the rails coming in where we just followed them in and they land at this kind of wooden plank landing. It's squeezy right there, I came back. And where he squishy. stepped, it was squishy there, so we're, we're not going to go over there. Go around. Yeah, this whole area could be a, a false floor over something. But just looking up from there, um, here's a big stope chamber dug out of the ceiling there, with a big timber across. And down from it over here is a, another smaller one. So here I'm on the other side of the, uh, the wooden planking that we're trying to avoid. Again, there's the other side of the room with the stopes we just looked at. There's the pillar and, uh, and, and there's an end there. So we did want to peek around that corner here at the end of the rails and just see where all of this ended up. So this must be where they uh, took it all out. All right, he's getting uh, set up to take some of his pictures. And as I was just looking around, I noticed in the ceiling, look at this. There's a hole that goes up. There's some fill there, but uh, it's not that simple. It goes up well into a, another room kind of above the ceiling. That's, that ceiling up there is probably oh, a good eight to 10 feet above the, uh, the level of the hole here. So. Okay, so there's the tunnel below. I just came up back up on the rock pile here. Here comes our other soldier. He's down there valiantly taking photos. But our next mission is, like I say, this, uh, <laughs> this other like level <coughs> tunnel thing above it that revealed itself as we came down the rock pile. So let's head into there and see what we find. So here we are coming through that upper level, climbing, climbing, climbing. What do you see up there? Hello! Ooh, a big, big echoey stopey sound. So here's where I came from and uh, coming up here to where he uh, climbed that ledge and looked over. This is the big stope we just entered up here. Okay, now I'm up here on level with him. There's the ledge going back down to where we just came from. and. Uh, Here's some of the passageways that you can see once you're standing up here. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. So we were down there and looking up into this stope with the beam, but didn't notice that it, uh, it opened here to the side. Did you see the well already? Uh, I haven't seen the well yet. You go to your right. Okay. There's a cavernous area there, yep. And mark it, you don't fall down a hole. Okay, so there is allegedly a well over here. <laughs> oh, I see, okay, so down here in this, uh, it does look like a well, doesn't it? Oh, and it has a Nova Scotia mine hunter in it. So that's the hole I was looking up through in the ceiling, exactly as we thought. Everything connects together in the end. Not always, but sometimes. It's good to make those connections, though. I was thinking a well with water in it, but <laughs> I can see why. It looks like a well. Okay, so we have uh, basically completed the mine. Um, and it's time to head back to that little crawl hole to get back to civilization. <laughs> and then back to the outdoors, and it is falling into darkness outside, so... Uh, we need to head home. Okay, we're out. Finishing the uh, add it to the left, and uh, it is nighttime. <laughs> there is the uh, the night sky. 
So we bid you farewell from the, uh, the Markhamville mine. And uh, again, please respect this location, folks. It is an extremely private property, and we were only allowed to be here by the grace of God. So again, special thanks to that family who will remain nameless. We'll see you on the next one, folks. Bye-bye.